Hi everybody, today we want to talk about some recent changes Ginger Labs, the company behind Notability, made on their note-taking app. And that actually impacted how digital journals or PDFs and hyperlinks work in this note-taking app. The reason why I'm doing this video is that people reached out to me asking me why my digital journal is no longer working. They bought a digital journal for me, which is a journal with a lot of interactivity where you can jump between days and months and everything. And they started to complain that it stopped working when used in Notability. As I know that the digital journal is a PDF with a complex linking structure in there, but no active functionality, I knew there must be a change in Notability itself that causes those problems. Then I went into the version history of Notability and what you see there is that with 9.2.4 they actually have a sentence there that says improved usability when working with PDF. So I reached out to them via Twitter and asked if they realized any issues with this and um, that people actually start complaining about this. And I really appreciate that they responded via direct message to me explaining what the issues might be and I thought I want to share this with you out there. So they said, Hi Tom, we recently changed the behavior of hyperlinks. After making a stroke with the pen tool, highlighter or eraser, hyperlinks will be disabled for around one second. This is to help avoid unwanted tapping into links while working. Hyperlinks can be activated using the hand tool, selection tool or the current tool you're using after resting a moment. This is a recent change, so we are currently monitoring feedback for improvements. Please direct message at Notability app, which is the Twitter handle, or reach out via email if you having anything to share. So I thought it's important to share this because it's not only one of you asking me about this and it makes absolutely sense. And now all the effects you're seeing on your digital journal makes absolutely sense when used with Notability. I just want to show you how it was looking, how it looked like before. So when you went to the yearly overview, you could just tap on any day and will Give you this preview window you tap on this and you will jump to the next page you tap on this you can jump to the next page and so on and now let's update to the latest version and see what the difference actually is so if you're using the finger tap it works then it goes fast enough it's, it's below one second however if you are writing something you want to navigate it's not working so i understand absolutely what the issue here is and why people actually complain. Okay, we clearly saw what the problem actually is in Notability now in a new version. It is not working when you are using the pen style. And if you make such a major change to functionality of hyperlinks, you should have mentioned this in a little pop-up window explaining what actually happens and that people don't get confused. Because as you see, people think it is the digital journal that is not working. So if any developer of Notability is watching this video too, here's what I think about the change of the functionality of hyperlinks. I don't like it. And do you know why I don't like it? Because I never liked it in GoodNotes and I know that many people don't like this in GoodNotes either. GoodNotes actually doesn't allow you to use hyperlinks as long as you're using your pen uh, writing. So you would write on your hyperlinks. Instead, you have to go to the top right corner, switch the tool, then you can tap on the hyperlink and it will jump the page. Then you have to switch back the tool and then you can start writing. These are by far too many steps that you have to undertake to get where you want to go. And I think adding this in Notability now is just a step backwards because you already had one additional step with showing the little preview window because if I tap on it, it's not going straight to the new page. It shows you the preview window. You have to tap on the preview window. So there are two taps I have to do to get to the page I want to. And now I even have to wait until the functionality works again. So if anyone out there using Notability thinks the same, let us know in the comments below. If you think different, of course, let us know as well. Explain us why you think this feature is better. 
I also want to add there is another solution to this because some people maybe want to write onto hyperlinks. Then I think Nodejav solved the problem the best because in there you can go into the options menu and there is a toggle where you can just switch on or off that you can activate hyperlinks with your Apple Pencil. It's as easy as that. If you want to learn more about the digital journal I'm offering here, I will put the link into the description below. It is working with Notability, Notejav, GoodNotes. It is working in any PDF annotation app that supports hyperlinks. So like PDF Expert, you could use it in there as well. I really appreciate your feedback and I always reach out to the developers directly, letting them know that there are some issues people running in. So this helps them greatly to improve their app. If you think this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody who is actually facing the same issue, let them know, share them the video then they will be informed too. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and follow me on Twitter at PaperlessMove. So see ya there.